Maps can show us far more than just basic geography. From politics to pop culture to history, maps can teach us exactly what people thought about the world hundreds of years ago or what people living hundreds of miles away think now. Prepare to be amazed by these top 10 maps that will change how you see the world. Number 10. Population density. Look at that circle. More people live inside of it than outside of it. How? Well, inside the circle covers China, India, Japan, North Korea, and South Korea, some of the most densely populated countries in the world. Not to mention, India's population alone is 1.324 billion people, and China is only just ahead with 1.379 billion. So high that China has to implement a one-child policy for a time to keep things stable. About 3.98 billion people live inside that circle, around 53% of the world population. By contrast, even the biggest countries outside of the circle are scarcely populated. 15% of Russia is unlivable tundra, and only about 50 to 55% of the land is lived on for similar reasons. Speaking of huge countries that are scarcely populated, look at this map and you'll see that only 2% of Australia Australian population lives in the highlighted area. Australia's population is already super low for its land size. It's far larger than India, but only 24.13 million people live there in total. But the small population is also overwhelmingly limited to the coast. The reason for this is simple. It's just too hot and inhospitable. The lack of water and overwhelming heat mean most people choose to not live in the middle of the country and those who do have to adapt. For example, a town called Cooper Petty falls into the highlighted area and it survives by having most of the buildings carved out of rocks underground to stay cool. Number nine, where the most alcohol is drunk. Many maps are used to quickly show information about a country's preference or habits. For example, this map shows how much alcohol is drunk per country per capita. The highest scores are the UK and the rest of Europe, the former due to its binge drinking and pub culture, and the latter because of the lower legal drinking ages and it being normal to drink with every meal. The outlier is Uganda, which is so high due to the cheapness and availability of home-brewed moonshine called Roragi or Warjan. As for the lowest, it's no surprise that countries across the Middle East have lower rates of alcohol consumption given that they're majority Muslim countries and their faith forbids the drinking of alcohol. India's rate is also low despite not being a Muslim country, but that's because Hinduism also discourages excessive drinking even if it does not explicitly forbid it. As for the kinds of alcohol countries prefer, this map shows what each country considers its beverage of choice, so you know exactly what to order for a local no matter what country you're in. There are some cliches in there, Russia preferring spirits, France preferring wine, and Germany and the UK preferring beer. With that said, I'm fascinated by the other alcohol category, so if your home country is shaded that color, let me know what people around you tend to drink in the comments. Number 8. Map of the World from 11 1954. Modern maps are definitely the most useful. They help us navigate, show us the world as it currently is, and help us visualize the basic positions of the countries. With that said, the information we now take for granted about the structure of the world wasn't always known, and the maps we used to use reflect that. For example, this map is from 1154, and it looks nothing like any map we have today. Countries are the wrong shapes and sizes, either overly exaggerated and or understated, and whole continents are missing that hadn't been discovered yet. Even the names are wrong, as the titles given to countries by those who found them hadn't been replaced by the names given to countries by their own people. Number 7. Where Countries Import From The Most You might not think that maps showing where each country imports from the most are interesting, but look at this and tell me it's not fascinating. I think most people would expect to see Japan and China so widely spread, given that so much of their economy is based on factory work and the USA covering significant ground isn't surprising, since we often use exports as a way to build relationships and show power. However, there's a lot else to dig into. For example, Germany seems to dominate more than you might think, especially with trade throughout the whole of Europe. Likewise, Denmark isn't a huge international player when it comes to imports, but thanks to Greenland, they're the most prominent flags on the map. Number 6 plugs you need per country. Not all maps have to show important economic or political information, some can just be super helpful. For example, this map shows which power outlets different countries use, which is invaluable if you travel a lot and are constantly confused by the million different adapters out there. What's interesting about this one is that some setups are popular enough to span entire continents, while others are confined to just one or two countries. You can see a more extreme version of that by looking at this map of measurement preferences, where every country in gray has switched over to using the metric system, and every country in red just 
hasn't. If it looks like America is lagging behind slightly, then that's because we are. But we definitely aren't alone. There are two other countries who still haven't made the switch, but if Liberia and Burma change their mind, then we are all on our own. Speaking of obscure national preferences, the best way to get to know a country is by looking at its internet use. This breakdown shows the most popular website per country, and there are definitely a few surprises on display. Google being so popular is obvious, and the fact that Facebook is not far behind makes sense too. What's fascinating is that Russia's most popular website isn't used anywhere else in the world, and there's actually a logical reason for it. Yandex is essentially the Russian Google, and it's used because other search engines can't understand inflections in the Russian language, where the same words can mean entirely different things depending on the context. Without that ability, search engines would be answering the wrong questions over and over again, so it's no wonder Russia had to find an alternative. Internet usage isn't the only map where Russia stands out. They're easy to spot when it comes to camouflage preferences too. This map isn't super practical unless you're in an active war zone or researching a military novel. But it does show that even something as simple as camo patterns can vary wildly from country to country, as well as showing that Russia's design is strangely pixelated for some reason. Before I reveal the next example, you should subscribe if you've enjoyed this video. We upload amazing fact-filled list videos daily. Also, make sure to click that bell icon to stay updated or you'll regret missing out on some amazing knowledge that could have filled your brain. Now let's get back to it. Number 5. Countries by Metal Band Frequency Speaking of information you didn't know you needed to know, have you ever wondered which countries have the most heavy metal bands per citizen? Well, if you have, then you're in luck, because that's exactly what this map shows. Turns out Finland, Sweden, Norway, and Iceland are all way above average, probably because cold weather and Viking heritage just lend themselves to heavier music. If heavy metal isn't your style, but you still want a map that talks about music, this one is a treasure trove of listener habits across all genres. It shows the number one most listened to song in over 3,000 cities, and it's constantly updating in real time. For example, at the time of this video, Havana by Camila Cabello is absolutely everywhere, but if you check right now, things might be completely different. Let me know if they are. Bonus fun fact, although most of the world is split between a few super popular current songs, not every country is a fan of what's contemporary. For example, Kazakhstan apparently can't stop listening to Gangnam Style. Number 4. The True Size of Africa when you stretch a globe onto a flat surface like a map, things are bound to get distorted, and Africa is the place that suffers the most. On most maps, it looks relatively small, but it's actually a huge place, and this map perfectly illustrates that. Africa's area is actually 30.37 million kilometers squared, which means you could fit America, China, Europe, and India inside of it and still have room for Japan and Mexico. Greenland is another place that has this exact problem. It seems small, but if we were to move Greenland down to Africa, it would be capable of covering almost the entire thing. Number 3. Maps of Colonization The truth is that maps are not as static as we think they are, and that's obvious when you look at history. Just look at this map from 1754. Spain holds the majority of world power, controlling Mexico, much of South America, and even part of what is now the United States. As for the UK, their influence was super limited, but flash forward to 1822 and things are a totally different story. Spain's influence is totally gone, the United States is governing itself, and France has gained a ton of power and influence. Influence. As for the UK, it has dominion over a whole swath of Canada, and that power had only increased by 1898. By then, the UK's empire was at its peak, controlling all of Canada, Australia, India, and what is now Egypt and Sudan. Thankfully, after that, empires started to decline and were well on their way to being gone by the end of the Second World War. Number 2. Gay Rights Across the World not all maps have to be political, but political maps can have the ability to show us the whole world's progress at once. I mean, this map illustrates where each country in the world stands on gay rights, and it's easy to see which countries are the most progressive, as well as the countries that still have a way to go. Thankfully, the countries where being gay is punishable by death are in the minority, but Iran, Saudi Arabia, and Sudan are proof they still exist. However, progress is happening, as in Namibia, Angola, and Botswana, being gay is still illegal, but no arrests have been attempted in over three years. Number 1. 
the Threats to World Peace map. Here's another political map to end things with, and this one definitely might surprise you. Each country asked its citizens what country they thought was the biggest threat to world peace, and the majority answers flag was shown on the map. As you can see, in the countries that were surveyed, the data was pretty overwhelming, and it wasn't kind to us Americans. As for the runners-up, both of Pakistan's neighboring countries agreed they were the biggest threat, while the UK, America, and Canada were united in agreeing it was Iran. However, what surprises me the most is that the majority of Eastern Europe didn't vote for Russia as the most likely to threaten world peace, given all their history. For example, a war is still raging between Ukraine and Russia, yet this map tells us they believe America is most likely to disturb world peace. Therefore, this map must be outdated in some way, and indeed it is. After further research, I found the data likely came from a Win Gallup International survey of 65 countries back in 2013, hence why it's incomplete and out of date. Maybe all the wars in the Middle East provoked all the countries to view America in such a negative light. Nonetheless, it is revealing to say the least. Which map did you find the most informative. Did any surprise you? Let us know in the comments and feel free to share any other interesting maps that you think we may have left out.